kitchen i am glad to have you back today we have a very simple recipe we are making plant-based mayonnaise it is soy free it is nut free the ingredient is readily available and we'll go straight ahead to the main ingredients which are friends our main ingredient is butter beans this is where we are getting most of the mayonnaise begin by soaking the beans i'm soaking a third a cup of the butter beans and it will yield one cup when soaked i'll soak this overnight in cold water the next day i'll wash it then i'll get to the procedure soaking is good because it enables any phytic acid present to be dissolved in the water thus will reduce any gas effects here we have soaked and we now have the rest of our ingredients we have one cup of soaked butter beans we have water one tablespoon we have oil two tablespoons i'm using olive oil in this recipe and a pinch of salt to taste and two lemons two limes actually the lemons are out of the market you can use lime you can use lemon so we'll wash the butter beans well and drain and here we have the butter beans well washed it's in a cup it has formed a cup just as i told you i'm adding it to the blender with two cups of water did i say two cups it should be one cup of water we want a thick consistency but you can add depending on the blending if you're having difficulty blending just add the water so apparently i did put one and three quarter cups of water i covered and you blend blend until very smooth remember this is soy free it is nut free we are using butter beans there are many things you can use as your base cashew nuts soybeans yes here we have a cheesecloth and our sufuria will pass the milk the buttermilk through the cheesecloth to extract the milk because that is what we need and when that is done you can use the pulp for baking some crackers baking your chapati depends on whatever you may wish to bake here we've extracted our milk and from here we're taking this milk to the fire and before that maybe you may be wondering how it will taste because of the beans now here is the secret we have added the lime peels to reduce the beany taste um, which will disappear as we cook so allow this to boil and then simmer for 15 minutes and as you simmer you stir because it will thicken and it may stick onto the sufuria so stir constantly until it obtains a thick consistency yeah and after 7 10 minutes you'll see it thickening as you can see here it's thickening and it is at this point that we will remove it from the fire and allow it to cool even as we remove it we remove the lemon peels because they have done their work in absorbing the excess beanie taste yeah there we removed the peels and there it has cooled it's hard it has a bit thick consistency now here is where we're making the mayonnaise i have put the thick 
buttermilk in the blender I've added the salt and the water and the lemon juice so at this point we'll first blend the three before we add the um, the oil you can use sunflower oil you can use coconut oil as well though coconut oil hardens quite fast and so in cool temperature it may fail to give you the right consistency you need for a mayonnaise there we're adding our olive oil and blend ensure your oil is more than the water so that emulsification can happen and that you can also get the nice thickness depends on how thin you want your mayonnaise to taste if you want it to be more lemony just add more lemon juice or lime juice here we are done with blending we are pouring it to our bowl from a look it looks quite runny but if you allow it to sit for some time it becomes very thick as you can see right now and most mayonnaise ought to be like this so remember when you eat and when you drink do all to the glory of god remember also to be a channel of light in everything uh, and everything you do wherever god places you if you like this video give it a like tell me what your thoughts are and see you next week bye